Hello everyone, I'm Bob Ward for Microsoft. Welcome to the special edition of Azure SQL for Beginners focused on performance, a guide to performance troubleshooting for Azure SQL. In our first episode, we are going to give you an introduction to performance troubleshooting on Azure SQL. Now you might have remembered Anna Hoffman and I built a series called Azure SQL for Beginners. And in this series, we went through a complete list of different aspects of Azure SQL, all the way from introducing what it is, to deploying, security, performance, availability, and even wrapping it all together. A great overall look at Azure SQL. What we decided to do, based on our customer experiences since that time, is build a special edition of Azure SQL for Beginners focused on performance troubleshooting, kind of a deeper dive to what you saw in module four in Azure SQL for Beginners. So, why are we doing this? Well, we have seen from our customers that they loved Azure SQL for Beginners, but in some areas they want a deeper dive to help them troubleshoot problems with Azure SQL, and we think performance is a great way to start that special edition concept. Now, in this series, we're going to focus and show you techniques for Azure SQL database. <clears throat> but here's the good news. SQL is SQL. And so many of the techniques and methods we're going to talk about apply to SQL Edge to Cloud, whether it's SQL Server, SQL in Azure VM, managed instance, wherever you're deploying a SQL Server, I think you'll love the overall approach we're going to show you. Also in this series, there's going to be a several different demonstrations where I'm going to show you different tools and techniques for these different performance problems. And you're going to be looking at this and say, Bob, I want the code. We've got you. So in the Azure SQL workshop, which complements Azure SQL for beginners, we will have a new module that you can go through and look and see and try out all these techniques for yourself on your own Azure SQL subscription. Now to get started, one of the things that we're going to do, you're going to see consistently through this series, is a technique on how to attack or look at a performance problem for SQL. You know, a long time ago, I was in support. And one of my colleagues was a deep expert in support, Keith Elmore. He was just incredible. And one time, Keith and I were talking in the days about how do we teach customers how to attack performance problems in a better, more efficient way. And Keith came up with this concept called performance, if it's slow from a customer perspective, it's either running or waiting. Running being a symptom of a high CPU problem and waiting being a symptom of a low or no CPU problem. So once you started with this technique, you could then dive in deeper and apply the right techniques to figure out what the problem is and resolve it. Now in almost every case here with a SQL performance problem, whether it's running or waiting, you're always trying to identify what queries are the top resource consuming queries like for CPU, or what queries are the ones that are waiting. This is going to help you look and determine what is the exact problem and how to go resolve it further. So, in this series, to try to do this running versus waiting concept, you're going to want to know how to get started from a tools perspective. Now, here's what we're going to show you. You're going to see this consistently in the series. You're going to use the Azure portal for an Azure SQL database to look at something called compute utilization. It's like a chart that shows you metrics for certain types of resource usage, especially for CPU resources. So you're going to start there, but you're also going to use a concept called the query store a built-in set of performance metrics inside the database, and it's visually surfaced through reports in SQL Server Management Studio. So as you go through this series, you'll get familiar with these two techniques on how to get started to decide if something's running or waiting. Now, we decided to build this series based on scenarios. And there's all sorts of different types of scenarios you could have for performance problems that are running or waiting, but we've identified it six of them based on either category. So for high CPU problems, we commonly see customers struggling with performance problems that are running based on missing indexes or something called an anti-pattern query or something called lack of resources. And on the waiting side, we see problems that are commonly called blocking problems or deadlocks or waiting based on a concept called a memory grant. So, in the next set of the series, as we dive deeper, you're going to see us focus on each of these areas one at a time and use this proven technique and tools to show you how to identify these problems and resolve them.
Now, there's a lot of different tools you're going to see us use during the series. We talked about the Azure portal. We're also going to show you how to dive deeper into that compute utilization using something called Azure metrics, and even something called diagnostics to look at things like logs. We'll also use the common popular tool called SQL Server Management Studio. We'll use that to look at query store reports and to run T-SQL queries. We will also use the query store that we talked about and surface that through looking at Query Store Reports and Management Studio to help you narrow down what are those queries that are affecting your problems. And then finally, and I love this part of the SQL Server engine, you're going to use the common T-SQL language that you know and love with a concept called a dynamic management view in some scenarios to dive deeper to see the state of queries in your system. So in summary, as an introduction to this topic, we think SQL performance problems are either running or waiting, and that gives you a great technique on how to narrow down a problem. Once you do that, we think you're going to try to figure out what queries are involved in this running or waiting scenarios. You're going to use tools like the Azure portal and metrics there, and the query store to help dive deeper and figure out what that problem is and know how to resolve it. And then note that these running or waiting problems typically res are, are involved with either high CPU or blocking problems, and we're going to go use those techniques to narrow down which one is the set of problems, and how to go to resolve them. And we talked about various tools you're going to use across the gamut of the portal, management studio, query store, to try to go resolve these problems. Now we know that you want to have a lot of resources on how, how to resolve these problems yourself. And to get started, we have some guides for you in our documentation on how to start with Azure SQL Performance Troubleshooting. We have, of course, our Azure SQL for Beginners video series for you to look at this special series and the rest of the entire series. And then I mentioned before, in the Azure SQL Workshop, we have a new module you can use to look at the scripts and examples that we use for the series. The Azure SQL Fundamentals is a learning path from Microsoft with a free Azure SQL Sandbox to look at some of these techniques. Don't forget about the popular Data Exposed channel to see more information about SQL Edge to Cloud, or more videos from our team on Azure SQL. And then finally, don't forget to follow us on social media for all the latest news on Azure SQL. And we have some books we've written also, if you'd like to dive deeper on these topics. Well, that's an introduction to performance troubleshooting as our first episode in a special edition for Azure SQL for Beginners. Next time, we'll start diving into those scenarios and we'll start with high CPU. So look forward to seeing you next time on a special edition of Azure SQL for Beginners.